Welcome to another vlog with your host Damon Standing. Uh, this vlog will be a review slash just general jam with my new Les Paul or Gibson LPJ, which I got while I was in San Francisco and was sold to me by Johnny uh, at the San Francisco Guitar Center, which was an awesome, awesome place where there were so many guitars, you were literally throwing up with pleasure at the amount of opportunity that was there. And it was awesome there, they were the nicest people ever. And they li literally said, welcome, try any guitar you want. And so I ended up with this one, because it's about time one day I sh thought I would get a Gibson, and I think the time has come. Anyway, uh, this be a little bit of a review, review before I do a follow-up, after I've done a little bit of modding, because that's, that's what I do. Uh, but anyway, I'll let it speak for itself. Self, it's going through... Uh, my JCM-1 Marshall and uh, we'll do a little bit of everything but we'll start with a little bit of Dirty that lots of people will complain that people will just do lots of shreddy stuff. Like... <laughs> so I'm gonna play something nice and slow so you can get feel the nice sustain of this guitar. <laughs> so far. So.
And there's also a couple of taps on here. A little even rhythm. And these are tuned coil taps, which uh, are a new invention by Gibson. I'll draw the circuit diagram for you in a minute. But uh, they're the thing I'm thinking of modding out to normal <laughs> coil taps. But um, I'll give you a comparison. Here's a bridge humbucker. <laughs> this quality of phone, but you can hear if I do some re lead stuff. tap, I'll quickly draw a diagram for you, is instead of the normal coil tap, which looks like, yeah, normal coil tap, well, here's a humbucker, ah, one-handed, there's one coil, there's another coil, they're attached in the middle, one coil goes to ground, one go coil goes to live, which is to your jack and your volume controls. And usually, they tap here with a switch that goes to ground, so that the, sh the middle is shorted to ground. But in this case, they've got a capacitor going to ground, so some of the signal can still go to ground through the other coil. And it's meant to make a kind of P90 type tone. Uh, I haven't really ever played that much with P90s, but um, I know it doesn't sound like a normal tap at all, and uh, if you want my honest opinion, I'd say that that tap sounds like a P90 there, and that tap sounds like a P90 somewhere up here, which obviously is uh, a bit too mellow for what I like to play. These are actually um, 498R and T pickups, so they're quite cool relative to, like, say, a JB model or the 500 that's in my phone um, but um, I would have followed a follow up video after the mod is done. I first noticed it when I opened up the um, that to put a little UV security mark uh, and I was like oh, these, uh, these volume controls have a capacitor going somewhere from somewhere to else. So originally I thought there might be treble roll off one, uh, treble roll on as you Turn the volume down, but then I quickly clicked on what was going on. So uh, mm -hmm. I'll do a, a mod, which is literally just take out the capacitor and replace it with the wire, and uh, I'll do a follow up. But we'll continue German. <laughs> in 10 minutes now, mm -hmm. I'll do some clean stuff. in the pickups a lot more now. Uh, that's a bridge on bucket. 
tapped. and clean. But it doesn't really bring it out on those shows itself. Now let's do some of the rhythm pick up in the clean. Obviously, because there's that there, it's quite hard to sweep on this guitar compared to a bit more open guitar. Into that, I do love this guitar. It's a really nice. Uh, Really nice guitar, it's a very good price for what you get. This is an LPJ Pro 2013 model. So, solid mahogany top, solid mahogany back. There's a little bit of weight relief here, I'm led to understand. It's actually, well, compared to the Pro, it's <laughs> it's light anyway, but it's, a, it's not too heavy a guitar. You've got a uh, Maple neck, I believe, actually. Um, Rosewood fingerboard. And I think the only other piece of wood is possibly, I'm not sure if that's a veneer of some kind on the top. Um, things I've noticed, as opposed to uh, maybe a higher end Gibson, is um, some of the finishing isn't as clean as uh, some of the higher end even Epiphones, like, uh, you can see a little bit of kind of difference in the finish here and here, but you can see where it's bled into there and stuff like that. Uh, it's a second neck, which is nice, um, although unforgivable, or unforgiving. <laughs> um, but overall, it's, it's a lovely guitar. I'd say the Zebra pickup ones are a little brighter, but they are 500 T's, I think, or r and T's, I believe, um, and you can notice it. They sound a lot more in your face, but this is quite nice for anything rocky, metal-y. Let's end with a little bit of gain. and uh, deluxe tuners, they're pretty reliable. I'd say the only unreliable thing on this is... Uh, so far I haven't had any problems at all. And the most unreliable thing on this is my playing. Um, but yes, uh, I will do a follow-up to this. Um, and Johnny, it's an amazing guitar, and thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to um, have a try and stuff. I tried it out on a DSL, and that sounded lovely. And I think if I was standing a little bit closer to my amp, I could probably break into feedback. We can, ch we can uh, check that. Or oh, infinite sustain. Yeah, 
Oh yes, we can. Uh, it's very nice and sustainy. But yes. Uh, I'm not going to say I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, because probably most of the people watching it went, oh, I just play blah, 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 blah. But I'm doing this mainly for Johnny because he said he'd like to see how I'm enjoying it. And I really love it. So thank you very much, Johnny. And I will probably play for another few minutes just to bulk out the video. Not in a way sense, but I'll put some markers to tell you when I'm actually talking. But I'm just going to walk out for a bit. So see you next time. <laughs>